Okay, well, hopefully you saw the last video I put up. Um, so evidently, and uh, Watchman 65, and I think somebody else did a video on this, five Kadusha rockets were fired at the fortified green zone in Baghdad Sunday night. That's where the embassy is. Uh, one directly hitting the U.S. embassy building. Iraq security forces reported. This is 41, well now 42 minutes ago. U.S. helicopters were seen evacuating injured people. All Samaria News reported, um, citing an anonymous security official. The State Department released a statement that did not comment on any injuries or deaths, but it noted there have been 14 attacks on U.S. personnel in Iraq since September. It also called on Iraq to fulfill its obligations to protect our diplomatic facilities. The security situation remains tense and Iranian-backed armed groups remain a threat, the statement read, so we remain vigilant. Attacks against the Green Zone and the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad by Iran-linked militia groups have increased in recent months, especially after the U.S. airstrike earlier this month that killed Iran's top commander, Qasem Soleimani, and Abu Mahad al-Muhadis, uh, the head of Iran-backed militia, Khatib Hezbollah. Or Khatib Hezbollah. Um, that was the second guy in charge. Outgoing Prime Minister uh, Abi, um, Adil Abd al-Mahdi condemned the attack, vowing to protect the diplomatic missions of the country. Uh, which doesn't make any sense that he did they condemned it when he's the one that probably called for it. The axe may drag the country into a battlefield, especially at a time when we started to implement the decision to withdraw foreign troops from Iraq, he said in a statement. No... Everybody, everybody's got dreams getting fulfilled right now. Watch what we go. We're going to go to here. I'm going to take it to Daniel Eight real quick. Um, these acts may drag the country into a battlefield, especially at a time when we started to implement the decision to withdraw foreign troops from Iraq. He said in a statement. Please, Sorry. please, let me finish. Please, yes, I love you too. Go lay down. Go lay down. Um, okay, so they haven't pulled back. They're still pushing. Uh, they're trying to start a war, uh, guys. And you know what? I, I very well could be wrong on this. But if we suddenly see a huge airstrike head over there, would it not fulfill what Daniel 8 said about the goat never touching the ground? Let's see. Um... Daniel was talking about being in Iran. We, I, did, I did a video on this. And he says, I saw the ram pushing westward, northward, and southward, which Iran is, because we see this is descri describing Iran, so that no animal could withstand him, no country could withstand him, nor was there any that could deliver from his hand. But he did according to his will and became great. And as I was considering, suddenly a male goat came from the west across the surface of the whole earth without touching the ground, and the goat had a notable horn between its eyes. Um, this sounds like an airstrike to me. And actually, I, I found uh, yesterday, somebody had done a book and had written about the same thing, and they came to the conclusion that was actually talking about America instead of Greece. Hey, hey. So... Um, then he came to the ram that had two horns, which I had seen standing beside the river, and ran at him with furious power. And I saw him confronting the ram. He was moved with rage against him, attacked the ram, and broke his two horns. So that means the horns are leaders. So that means he killed them. So we have one horn in Iran broken already. There was no power in the ram to withstand him, and ironically it was us that did it. Uh, to withstand him, but he cast him to the ground and trampled him, and there was no one that could deliver the ram from his hand. If we took out the second guy in charge, he's one of the horns. Both horns are going to get taken out. Therefore, the male goat grew very great, but when he became strong, the large horn was broken. That would indicate that the leader of that country is taken out somehow. And in place of it, four notable ones came up toward the four winds of heaven. Now watch this. And out of one of them came a little horn which grew exceedingly great towards the south, towards the east, and towards the glorious land. It's capitalized because that's Israel. Um, this is the Antichrist here. Now, we go down here to the interpretation of the dream. This is something interesting that's what's said here. And I actually covered this in a video also. But listen to what this does. So, make this man understand... 
let's see, deep sleep, make you know what shall happen. Okay, so now he gives a timestamp. And he said, look, I am making known to you what will happen in the latter time of the indignation. For at the appointed time, the end shall be. Well, what's the indignation? What does the indignation always refer to in the Bible? The tribulation. The ram, which you saw, having the two horns. They are the kings of Media and Persia, Iran. And the male goat is the kingdom of Greece. The large horn that is between its eyes is the first king. This is interesting because Greece, they're nothing right now. <laughs> they're nothing compared to Iran. And Iran is almost nothing because they're suffering hardcore right now. That country's in dire straits. So who is this? This can't be Greece. What has to be somebody associated with Greece? Well, what were the Greeks always referred to in the Bible? Gentiles, Greeks. Anytime you see where they're talking about Gentiles, almost always uh, uses the term Greeks, especially in the King James. So that would put America on the list. The large horn that is between its eyes is the first king. Well, every country in the world has had a king but America. So I find that interesting too. And then I, in that video that I did uh, last week or the week before, I showed where you do a Google search on Trump as the first king, and there's just tons of listings of it. So this isn't some this is something being talked about. And as for the broken horn and the four that stood up in his place, this is talking about the goat, four kingdoms shall arise out of that nation, but not with its power. So this indicates that this nation is going to break apart. We have that ready to go right now in this country. This country has been at, at verge of doing that for a while. Actually, they, they want to break it up into five, but it would be really easy to figure out how they could get four out of that. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors have reached their fullness... A king shall arise, having fierce features, who understands sinister schemes. This is telling us that whoever this country is that breaks out, the Antichrist is going to rise out of this country. His power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. He shall destroy fearfully, and shall prosper and thrive, and shall destroy the mighty and also the holy people. Through his cunning he shall cause deceit to prosper under his rule, and he shall exalt himself in his heart. He shall destroy many in their prosperity, he shall eat, making rich people poor, and he shall even rise against the prince of princes, that's Jesus. But he shall be broken without human means. And the vision of the evenings and the mornings, which told is true, therefore seal of the vision, for it refers to many days in the future. Guys, Greece is nothing. Who is this? This has got to be talking about America. We already have one leader in Iran down. One horn is broken. They just attacked our embassy. If they, if we suddenly send a big airstrike over there and start bombing the crap out of Iran, go back and read this again and tell me that's not what that is. Because I bet they're going to kill that other guy. Guys, we're seeing this being fulfilled right now, literally. Because it doesn't have to be all in one moment. It could be spread out over a short period of time. Guys, <laughs> that's what this looks like this is talking about. I don't know. Maybe it's for a different time. I don't know, but this sure looks like it. Wow. Anyway... Check that out for yourselves. Uh, obviously, something's up. And they're not taking this lying down. And Iran is going to push until they get the war they want. And it's not going to be pretty because, according to Daniel 8, they're going to get wiped out. And that matches Bible prophecy. And that matches the book of Revelations. A lot of countries are going to get wiped out. All right, guys. That's the breaking news for here. See you in the next one.